Okay, so I've finished going round all my letters now. They're all nice and clear, nice and bold, and they all stand out. See one against the other. So the next job is to start to think about adding some colour. And we can do that in different ways. So I'm just going to use this side of my sketchbook just to do a little bit of experimentation. So bring it a bit better into the uh, line of vision. Okay, so for this I've got some white crayons and I'm going to use some paint, just some basic watercolour paints. Okay, and I've got myself a brush. And what I want to do is explore and experiment and see what happens when I use wax crayon and water, watercolour together. Okay, if you watch, maybe you can already guess. So this is wax crayon and I'm just, so I'm not working on my actual piece. I'm just going to draw, I don't know, I could draw some airships. I don't know, that might be a nice way to start. So a capital A. And lowercase a. a fancy a. I'm using bright red. And again, with this, you need to press on pretty hard to transfer the waxy crayon onto the paper. So for this one, I thicken it up a little bit. So a nice big a there. Okay, so here we go. So I've got my wax A's and what I'm going to do now is I am going to add a little bit of water to watercolour. I'm going to set my favourite colour which is this beautiful turquoise and I'm going to use a lot of water with my paint and I don't want it too thick, I want it very watery, very runny and I'm just going to wash the paint over the top. So if I tilt that you might be able to see a bit clearer. Tilt my box. So you can see that as I wash that paint over the top of that waxy A, the paint won't stick to that wax. It actually just runs off. And the technique, this technique here is called wax resist. Because the wax crayon is resisting, so very washy purple, the wax crayon is resisting the watery paint. So it's almost sealed, the surface is sealed against that watery paint, so it won't go through it. Okay, so very, very light layers of colour, don't overdo it, don't work too thick with paint. Can you see how ruddy it is? It's ruddy and it's bleeding. That's a te technique we actually use where we use our paint, very watery, very runny, and we allow one colour to run into another. And we use the term bleed, bleed one colour into another. So these colours are very similar, so that green A and this green paint sort of, I mean it will work, but it might be nice to put something that's really good at contrast. And this really brings me to the colour wheel, which you've got on one of your slides. And I'm sure you'll have done this at primary. So colour theory, and basic colour theory is the colour wheel, and it's made up of three primary colours, which you'll probably know is red, yellow, 